Before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! In our previous discussion, we talk about the different classifications of volcanoes. Today, we are going to learn more about volcanoes as we discuss the types of eruptions. Sounds interesting, right? Are you ready to learn with me? Come on! Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Let's go! As we talk about the types of volcanic eruptions, we will learn about the following. What are the different types of volcanic eruptions? What are the benefits and hazards associated with volcanic eruptions? Come on, let's begin our discussion. Have you ever heard about the Mount Pinatubo eruption in Zambales? This happened in June 1991. How about the eruption of Taal Volcano in Batangas in January 2020? As you may have heard, this event affected several thousands of families, damaging their properties, livelihood, and it even took the lives of people as well as the animals living near the volcano. Not only that, the ashfall even reached the nearby cities in Metro Manila as well as the other provinces near Batangas. Volcanic eruptions are not unusual events in the Philippines. The Philippines has 22 active volcanoes, which is why geologists and volcanologists from FIVOX work tirelessly to monitor these volcanoes. Now, we will explore about the different types of volcanic eruptions. A volcanic eruption occurs when pressure from gases within the molten rock becomes too great. Eruptions can be quiet or explosive. There may be lava flows, flattened landscapes, poisonous gases, and flying rock and ash from the vent of the volcano. There are five types of volcanic eruptions. These are phreatic or hydrothermal, phreatomagmatic, strombolian, volcanian, and plinian. A phreatic or hydrothermal eruption is a steam-driven eruption. This happens when the hot rocks come in contact with water, producing steam in the process. It is a short-lived eruption characterized by ash columns but may also be an onset for a larger eruption. Taal Volcano demonstrated a phreatic eruption in January 2020. The same was also shown by Mayon Volcano when it erupted in July 2018. Both eruptions sent steam and ash several hundred meters into the sky. Next is the Freato Magmatic. It is a violent eruption due to the contact between water and magma. As a result, a large column of very fine ash High-speed and sideway emission of pyroclastics called base surges are observed. Taal Volcano also demonstrated a phreatomagmatic eruption in January 2020. Mount Pinatubo's eruption in 1991 also demonstrated phreatomagmatic eruption before its largest and most violent eruption. Stromboyan eruption is a periodic quick to violent eruption characterized by a display of a fountain of lava. The eruption of Mount Erazo in Costa Rica is an example of Strombolian. The volcanian eruption is characterized by tall eruption columns that can reach up to 20 kilometers into the sky with pyroclastic flow and ash flow. An example of volcanian is the Mount Paricotin in Mexico. Lastly, the Plinian. It is an excessively explosive type of eruption of gas and pyroclastics. The eruption of Mount Pinatubo in July 1991 is an example of a Plinian type of volcanic eruption. This eruption is often described by geologists as a cataclysmic eruption. 
These types of volcanic eruptions can be accompanied by other natural hazards such as earthquakes, mud flows and flush floods, landslides, acid rain, fire, and even tsunamis. How exactly do volcanic eruptions affect human lives as well as the environment? Hazards from volcanic eruptions are as follows. Eruption clouds, lahar flow, lava flow, lava bombs, poisonous gases, pyroclastic flows, and volcanic ashes. Eruption clouds are massive quantities of volcanic ash ejected into the atmosphere. Eruption clouds not only disrupt the vision of aviators, but also clog the engines of airplanes. Eruption clouds can also cause a localized thunderstorm in the area and bring down acid rain when it mixes with rain clouds. Lahars are volcanic mud flows. Lahars are very dangerous because they are heavy and can travel downhill fast. Lahar flows occur when the volcanic ash and fragments of rocks get swept by the currents from rivers or by heavy rain. This is one of the factors why the Mount Pinatubo eruption in 1991 was so destructive. Lava flows are layers of molten rock that flow over the surface, later cooling and solidifying. Lava bombs are large chunks of pyroclastic materials ejected from a volcano. Larger pyroclastic materials are called blocks. Poisonous gases such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and sulfur dioxide can travel down a volcano and suffocate wildlife and humans. Pyroclastic flows are some of the most dangerous hazards caused by composite volcanoes. Pyroclastic flows are superheated clouds of pyroclastic materials such as hot rocks and tephra, ranging in size from small rocks to the size of houses. Volcanic ash is composed of fine particles of pyroclastic material that can be carried thousands of miles away by the wind. This can cause ashfall even in areas that are far away from the eruption site. Also, a huge volume of volcanic ash in the atmosphere can affect the weather as well as the climate. While it is true that volcanic eruptions can cause destruction in the environment, there are also several benefits that humans can harness from them. Let's explore them! Volcanic ash contains minerals that are useful for plants. It allows the soil to retain water as well as help insulate plants. Volcanic ash can also be used for industrial purposes. It can be mixed with cement or even be used as an alternative for cement. Volcanic rocks can also be used in the construction industry. Also, volcanoes provide the heat used to generate electricity in geothermal power plants. Volcanoes can damage properties, take lives, and destroy the surroundings. However, volcanoes are also breathtaking structures that provide several benefits to organisms living within their vicinity. This is why humans should appreciate volcanoes as well as be wary of them, for no one can predict exactly when a volcano can erupt. And that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion on volcanoes. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool program. You can find the details in the description section below. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vibal. Goodbye, everyone!